Arya won't reunite. Ever! But what is the reasoning behind that, and what are the band members doing with themselves in this post-rapid eye movement world? They're post-rapid eye movement lives. You and I are about to catch up with the REM band that's from just down the road here. Let's get into the video. I'm on a journey to hear every song ever recorded, and in my intricate ranking system, REM come in at number 86 and will probably remain somewhere near that spot into perpetuity. There could be some fluctuation in their position as other bands on my list put out both good and bad material, and REM are just steady not putting out new material. So REM, they are going to hover around my number 86 spot out of 230 favorite artists. Like I said, into perpetuity. I can't pronounce that word good. You're gonna hear me say Stipey a lot during the video instead of Stipe. Um, can't pronounce his first name either. But um, yeah, probably forever. They will forever be my 86th favorite band. So why did such a great band I rank them between Sugar Cult and Hole of all bands. Yes, I like Sugar Cult better. What are you gonna do? Why did such a great band like REM call it quits? I've got some bullet points for you. One, their record label had become a strange place for the aging band, and as their record deal came to a close, it was easier to walk away than try to forge a new path with a completely different employer than they were used to working with. And when you're working on something like a potential 16th, 17th, or 18th record, maybe you do need more care uh, from those people put into the material, you know, than with new suits. Um, more than a new suit would be able to provide. The band didn't want to start from scratch after 32 years as a band. Number two bullet point, and this is the big one, and straight from the guys themselves. The guys in the band were simply getting tired of being in a band. It sounds like blasphemy to rock and roll fans, but being in a band is a major commitment, and it can take a toll on your personal life. It does take a toll. Peter Buck told Rolling Stone that it was annoying for him in 2008 and when additional shows kept eating into his free time where he could see the sights and adventures of other countries, uh, you know, touring is just uh, touring becoming like is a Bigfoot. Big both of these things are true and both of them are beautifully tied into the human emotions of Michael Stipe who came at his rock and roll brothers and said he needed to step away from the band for a while. And the feeling was mutual. Peter Buck and Mike Mills agreed with the added sentiment of let's let's be permanent let's be um, let this be for good now the thing I find really epic about the end of REM is the accomplishment that it represents it's not like REM became radio friendly garbage their egos swelled and they ruined their lives no it's it's actually the complete opposite REM made their dreams come true while staying true and honest to themselves. They achieved what they set out to do and made a lot of people shiny, made some other people happy, and uh, just <coughs> made great rock and roll in the process. And then when they quit, it was before it became too much of a chore. They also ended with a pretty great record and a well-attended show. I can't think of any band that's walked away with this much finesse. And while I do want more REM music, I actually believe them when they say they are never going to reunite. They are staying true to their word, even at private events outside of the band's career. There was a private event where all the band members were in attendance and performing music, but they made sure that not all four band members were on stage at the same time, or even three of the current band members at the same time. That is incredible. REM are no longer dreaming despite it being free. 
let's catch up with the 2000 to present version of these fine young Georgia heads, shall we? Mike Mills! <coughs> Mike Mills is doing a lot of work with the Baseball Project, a super group formed in 2007, kicking things into high gear once his 32-year-plus day job ran its complete course. He's also adding many vocals to other artist works like Jason Ringenberg, Super Chunk, and Patterson Hood with other artists. Born in 1958, Mike Mills shows no signs of sitting at home and being boring. Way to go, Mikey. Peter Buck. Peter Buck has been extremely busy recording six studio albums from 2012 to 2022 and producing eight albums for other artists like the Jayhawks. He's also done various other artists like production with a dozen artists and we all need to check out his latest solo album entitled All the Kids Are Super Bummed Out. And now we have Tape Face himself. <coughs> Paintface himself, Michael Stipe, I mean, Mikey Little Stipe. Michael Thurple was rocking out with Coldplay on 12-12-12, just months after the end of the world as we know it, called R.E.M., and he felt fine. He did a song with Courtney Love called Rio Grande, as well as creating the soundtrack for the Coldlands. In 2017, Michael Stipe began releasing solo singles, which were what many R.E.M. fans were waiting on uh, in the interim between 2011 and 17. On 2018, he collected his photography projects into a volume and released it as a book with the following volume coming out in 2019, The Year of Our Lord. More recently, Michael Stipe has collaborated with a band called The Big Red Machine. It's not a bubble gum, it's, it's a rock band. On No Time for Love Like Now, comma, which bleeds into his more recent work, production, and guest appearances throughout the musical landscape. Far away from the insanity of big budget rock and roll. Please, please, people, I painted my face for this, so I need you to, I, I need, I get the paint budget was just out of control for this video. Do you guys know how much purple paint costs? I need you to like, subscribe, comment, share, just so I can make, like, potentially 30 cents on this video. I mean, I got... I got like I did have the vinyl. I had to give up my vinyl habit. It was, it was a bit too expensive. Got a little bit too rich for my blood. I wanted to paint my face instead. Oh boy. This has been a fun video, guys. Hopefully, you guys will allow millions of people to watch this. This is crazy. All right. Bye.